Imagine this, right? You're standing on Mars, dusty red surface everywhere, and you look up, and there it is, shimmering green lights dancing in the sky, an aurora. It sounds like pure science fiction, but uh, for the first time, it's actually not. Exactly. It's really quite remarkable. We're diving into some major news today about NASA's Perseverance rover. It actually detected an aurora on Mars. Mm -hmm. And uh, the key thing is it's potentially visible to the human eye. The first one like that. Okay, wow. Let's definitely get into this. Our main source here is an AP news piece. Uh, the title is NASA rover spies the first aurora at Mars that's visible to the human eye. Pretty clear. Yeah, it sums it up well. And our mission today you know, is to really unpack what this means. How significant is this discovery? What actually caused it? How did Perseverance manage to see it? And uh, what does it tell us about Mars? Space weather, future exploration. Right, we want to break it down so you get the key takeaways without needing a PhD in astrophysics. Exactly. So the big news, Perseverance spots a green aurora. We know Earth has auroras, obviously. Yep. But Mars, what makes this one stand out? Well, the big difference is the light itself. We've detected auroras on Mars before, sure, but only in ultraviolet light, mm -hmm. which, you know, our eyes can't see. This one, it glowed in the visible spectrum, green light. Think of it like, well, like the northern lights here on Earth. It's light that potentially, under the right circumstances, a human standing there could actually see. That's, yeah, that's pretty mind-blowing. Seeing an aurora on another world with your own eyes. So when did this actually happen? This particular event, uh, the AP article says it occurred back in March. March 2024. Okay, March. Oh. And what set it off? What caused this Martian light show? It was a classic solar storm scenario started with a big flare on the sun. Right. And then following that, the sun ejected a huge cloud of charged particles. That's what we call a coronal mass ejection or CME. Mm -hmm. And the CME was heading, well, pretty much straight for Mars. So the sun basically uh, sneezed in Mars's direction. Ah, something like that, yeah. A very energetic sneeze. But well, hang on, how did they even know to point Perseverance's cameras? Did they just get lucky? Ah, well, this is where it gets really cool. They actually knew it was coming. Scientists tracking the sun saw the flare, saw the CME, and calculated its trajectory. They had about a three-day warning that it was going to hit Mars. Three days! Wow! Yeah, so that gave them enough time to, you know, program Perseverance, get its cameras aimed, and ready to capture whatever happened. That's amazing. It really shows how good we're getting at forecasting space weather, doesn't it? It absolutely does. A huge step. And the rover that caught it all was Perseverance. For anyone who might not follow it closely, where is Perseverance working right now? Perseverance is in Jezero Crater, and yeah. it's a really interesting spot. Scientists think billions of years ago, Jezero was actually a lake fed by a river, a delta yeah. environment. Okay. So its main job there is drilling rock samples, collecting soil, looking for signs of ancient life, basically. The hope is eventually we might even bring those samples back to Earth to study. Right, the sample return mission. It's mm -hmm. been doing incredible work there. When did it arrive again? It launched in 2020, landed successfully in early 2021. So it's been exploring Jezero for, what, over three years now. A real workhorse. Definitely. Okay, so Perseverance is in the right place. Scientists give it a heads up about the solar storm and boom, green aurora. What's the scientific takeaway here beyond just, wow, cool lights? Well, scientifically, this is huge because it confirms that we can actually forecast auroras on Mars. It proves the models work, you know? Right. We predicted it and it happened. Exactly. And that's not just neat. It's really important. Why is forecasting them so important? What's the benefit? Being able to predict these events means we can study Martian space weather much more effectively. We can see how the sun's activity directly impacts the Martian atmosphere in real time. And looking ahead, that's absolutely critical information for planning human missions. Understanding radiation exposure, atmospheric changes, it's all vital for astronaut safety. Makes sense. The article mentioned a researcher involved, right? Yes. Uh, Elise Wright Knudsen from the University of Oslo. Her team's research got published in Science Advances. She basically said that these observations show forecasting these lights is now possible at Mars. And that lets scientists really dig into space weather there. Okay. So, the big question then, one I'm sure everyone's thinking. Could future astronauts, people actually standing on Mars, see this kind of thing? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? The researchers tackled it directly. They pointed out that this specific aurora was probably dimmed quite a bit by all the dust in Mars' atmosphere. Mars is dusty. Yeah, very dusty. But they also said that if you had better viewing conditions, maybe less dust in the air or a more intense storm hitting the planet, 
then the resulting aurora might well be bright enough for the human eye to see directly. So the potential is there. The potential is definitely there. It's fascinating too, because Mars doesn't have a global magnetic field like Earth juice. These auroras likely happen because the solar particles interact with localized patches of magnetic fields in the Martian crust. It's a different mechanism, but still produces visible light sometimes. Imagine being one of those first explorers, looking up and seeing that. Incredible. Truly incredible. And another key point the AP article makes, this is the first time an aurora has been reported from the surface of another planet. Ah, right, because previous detections were. From orbit. Mm -hmm. spacecraft looking down. Uh. This is our first ground level view, which gives us a totally different perspective. Okay, so let's just recap the main point here. For the very first time, we've got evidence of an aurora on Mars, potentially bright enough to be seen by human eyes, sparked by a solar storm, and captured by perseverance on the ground. Precisely. It's not just a pretty picture, though it certainly would be. Mm -hmm. It's a real advance in understanding Mars, its atmosphere, and how it interacts with the sun. It gives us a glimpse of what future explorers might see, and it boosts our ability to study that crucial space weather interaction. Really fundamental stuff for getting humans there safely. It really does fire up the imagination. You know, if this one was doomed by dust, what would a really, really powerful one look like? Could it be as spectacular as the best shows we see on Earth? And uh, what else is waiting out there on Mars? What other sort of unexpected things might astronauts witness? Hmm. Definitely makes you wonder, doesn't it? Lots more to discover for listening. If you want more details, check out the original article in the description. Goodbye, and see you again.